funding. This is a piece I wrote earlier this year around the subject of climate strikes. And given that you know this Friday, you know students going to be walking out, I think I thought it was yeah, come on. <laughs> um, I thought this was a really good opportunity to get this piece out there. <clears throat> Do you remember what it was like to be young, to see the ways the world was wasting away? Rubble appearing within the chalk outlines you traced around your streets. To feel the wide-eyed, naive belief that you could stop what you saw happening. Students are marching. They are shouting and they are crying. Tears forming tangible imprints of their ideas, leaving holes in the hollows of their cheeks. They chant, time stamp with a countdown for when the world will stamp back at them until those beliefs are finally crushed. Slowly, those imprints will be wiped away in place of the clean slate of newborn cynicism marked by the thoughtless repetition that all they are seeking is a day off school. The imprints of the boot stamping that I did as a student have been eroded by the dimming of the light behind my eyes until I heard their piped up cries and I saw that those fading footprints were finally being followed. Those who have forgotten what it means to believe will be relieved by repeating their own assumptions because it's easier to dismiss the demands of the generation than it is to try and find solutions for the problems that they want us to address. These students have not taken time off. They have taken time. They have articulated their deepest fears about a future that belongs only to them. The only extra credit they will get for their efforts are the benefits of being listened to. So maybe instead of dismissing them, for what we can convince ourselves to be their motivation. Maybe we should actually start listening. Thank you.